Hi guys, so today I'm doing the I Love Drugstore Makeup Tag and I'm truly excited for this just because I really do love drugstore makeup. The first question asks, what is your favorite makeup brand overall? And it would definitely be Revlon. When I first started getting into makeup, I was automatically drawn towards Revlon. I just thought the ads and all the pictures of the models and the people they chose looked very high class and sophisticated. So even though it wasn't necessarily a um, like high-end makeup brand, like I just thought the ads looked like they were trying to do that. So the second question asks, what is your favorite face, cheek, and lip product? And my favorite face product will definitely be from Revlon. I'm liking this one right now, and it is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup. And I'm in the color Vanilla. And at first I didn't really think I would like mousse makeup just because I have oily combination skin. And I thought it would look a little bit greasy and not really cover up any of the imperfections on my skin, such as acne, whatever. Um, but I really like this. I feel like I don't need to apply a lot and that it actually makes my skin look flawless. I don't need to like cake it on for it actually to work. For my favorite cheek product, I would definitely lean towards Wet n Wild. Um, I definitely want to get more Wet n Wild colored blushes, but this one that I have is in Mellow Wine. And it's absolutely a beautiful color. It's highly pigmented. As you can see, it's kind of like a corally orange reddish color and it's just really super pretty um, obviously you don't want to apply too much because it is so pigmented so you have to be very careful with these blushes the other one that I like is by CoverGirl and it looks like this and it's called a cheeker and it's in the color uh, C L S C pink in 110 and it's just this really fun hot pink color looks like and this is definitely like a little bit more natural looking. But I love both these blushes. They have excellent payoff. And they're just really, really easy to work with. So for lip products, I'm always drawn towards Maybelline lipsticks. I just love the consistency of them. They're very creamy and they also smell like vanilla, which is very, very tantalizing. And this is my favorite color overall. It's my go-to lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. And it's called Make Me Pink. It comes in this purple tube. It's one of the color sensational lipsticks from Maybelline. And I'll just do a swatch for you. As you can see, it's kind of like a purpley pink color, but it's very natural looking. The other one that I like is also from Maybelline, and it's called the Vivid Rose. And it's from the new line that just came out. It's from the Vivid Collection. And I absolutely love um, like fuchsia hot pink lipsticks, but this one is definitely my favorite just because of the high pigmentation and glossiness of this lipstick. And as you can see, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely for on those days that you don't want to worry too much about makeup. You just want to have maybe like mascara on and a little bit of lipstick. But another um, lipstick that I like is this Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this actually stains your lips. I have a couple different colors, but this is definitely my favorite. This is in the color Love Sick. And what I like about this lipstick is obviously it's very moisturizing and it smells like mint. It just smells really good in my opinion. And it can go on very surely if you don't want too much color, but you can also build it up. And it looks like that. So as you can see, I'm definitely dealing towards like fuchsia colored lipsticks, but these are all my favorites. Question number three asks, what is your least favorite makeup product? And definitely overall, like, L'Oreal and CoverGirl I've had, like, a bunch of hit and misses with. Like, they have extremely good products, and then they also have, like, some really, like, crappy products, in my opinion. But, like, overall, I don't have an exact thing that I really, really do hate. Um, if I have, I just, like, haven't gotten it again, so I just kind of, like, put it on my mind. <laughs> Number four asks, what is the best makeup bargain? And I would definitely say Wet n Wild overall. They have some amazing selection of lipsticks and then, of course, cheeks and then, of course, eyeshadows. And this is one of the eyeshadow palettes that we have. It's called the Blue Had Me a Hello. Blue Had Me a Hello. Okay, yeah. That sounds <laughs> weird to me in my head. But, um... And as you can see, they just have, like, amazing pigmentation. Like, that's just, like, wiping my finger on it. And the color payoff is so incredible. And I absolutely love, love, love these palettes. I'm actually wearing one on my eyes today, which I will later show you. Question number five asks, 
What is your favorite underdog product? Something that is often overlooked. And I would definitely say Alme has some incredible stuff, but it always gets overlooked. At least I don't really hear that much about it. And I really like this foundation. It's like not a full-on heavy um, foundation, but it's just really nice for all those days that you want to cover up imperfections, but you still want your skin to shine through. And this is one of my favorite products. It's the Alme Clear Complexion blemish healing spot concealer and neutralizing green so it sounds really weird but you just put this on your spots any redness that you have really intense in your skin and you just put it on and it will obviously like appear green but it just gets rid of any redness and then you just put your foundation over it and it just makes your skin look a lot more flawless and also it has salicylic acid in it so it gets rid of those nasty little <laughs> spots on your skin Six asks, what is a drugstore product that is overpriced? And I would definitely go for these L'Oreal Color Reach Lip Balms. Um, the packaging is very nice, so they look very sleek. And in the tube, they look like they would be these amazing colors. Now, obviously, these are lip balms, so they're not supposed to be, like, super intense pigmentation. But... I just feel like if you really wanted a lip balm that wasn't going to give too much color pigmentation, that you could just easily buy like a $2 tube. And there are a lot of ones that do give you a little bit of tint, so it's not like the tint in this is necessarily. I just feel like these are very overpriced. Like they're like, um, maybe like almost $10, which I think is ridiculous. Number seven asks, what are your best drugstore dupes? So I'm not going to show you anything too common. I'm going to go kind of outside the box and show you things that you probably haven't seen before. But hopefully you won't be too disappointed by that. Hopefully you'll be excited that I'm showing you stuff you probably haven't seen before. This is one of my favorite bronzers ever. It is by Lancome. First of all, I love the packaging. It's a star bronzer, Pedro Soleil, bronze Dior. And as you can see, it's this really nice tan, like sandy, um, color with a little bit of glitter in it, but I think it looks really, really similar to this Physician's Formula palette that just recently came out. And these are both on the lighter side of bronzer, so they're exceptionally good for people with fair skin. But if you look at them, I think they're very, very close. Now, Physician's Formula isn't that much different in price. It's about like $13, and this is about $26. But obviously, you can end up getting two of these. Another drugstore dupe that I found in my collection is, first of all, this Clinique shadow in Sparkling Sage. This is obviously the high-end color. But if you look at this All May Intense Eye Color in Trio for Greens in 204, the top shade looks almost exactly the same. And you get, you know, double the amount of shades in this one, and it's a lot less expensive. Another dupe that I have is this Estee Lauder 2-in-1 eyeshadow quad in Tulip and the drugstore dupe for this is in Petal Pusher which is what I'm wearing today and as you can see the colors are very very similar um, this light shade is very similar to that light shade and then that dark shade is very similar to that one so yeah one more drugstore dupe that I have is this Physicians Formula nude palette and it has a lot of shimmery nude colors and this is the Lancome color design palette so this is obviously the high-end product and as you can see this has a bunch of shimmery colors that are very similar to the nude palette number eight asks what is a drugstore product that is not worth the hype and I would definitely say when these came out I heard so many good things about them but I didn't think they were that awesome truthfully this one is Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the color Orchard Hush and I mean it's very cool how like it's bouncy obviously but I don't feel like the color pigmentation is that awesome I feel like it wears off very very easily and I just feel like overall it's not that great of a product so that is the end of my drugstore makeup tag. I definitely had fun filming this and I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different kind of dupes that I had to show you. Um, different from the normal standard dupes that you've probably seen a million times. If you have a video and you want to leave it as a response, definitely feel free to do that. Or if you don't, leave a comment down below of what your favorite drugstore makeup uh, brands are and everything else. And thanks again so much for watching. Feel free to like this button, like this button. <laughs> Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And again, thanks so much for watching and I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!